Bonjour mes amis, my name is Freya, and welcome back to Creatures 2. I've got my butterfly world up here with the lovely Martin, who for some reason was born an adult. You can look at the last video, he just popped out of the incubator full grown. So it seems quite clear to me that no one is greater than Martin. Martin is the Almighty, and we all need to respect and adore Martin the Great. So I'm going to affix the great to his name. And um, yeah, Martin is truly a sight to behold. I don't know what happened. Like, I don't know if that was something to do with the egg file or if it's genetic, but I'm gonna focus on ha giving Martin some children and all of his progeny will have the the great suffixed to their name. So, let me see who's of age. Anna has already had a child, so we'll try crossing her with Martin. Martin the Great is angered. We must pacify him. Oh, come on! I think the problem here is that Martin is trying to eat her. There we go! Oh, you poor thing. I feel so bad for the Ettens in Creatures 2. Like, they have it almost as bad as the Grendels, I think. Because the Ettens, I don't... I don't think they have any food-eating instincts. They just wander around the swamp. Sometimes they eat ants. I think that's all I've seen them eat naturally. They just wander around eating ants, starving to death, passing out from exhaustion like that. I think the only ones who have it worse are the Grendels, who... I got this one out because I couldn't bear to watch what normally happens, but if you go over here, this is where all of the Grendel eggs are kept, yeah? So, if they walk to the left, you open two doors and then immediately drown. If they walk to the right, there's no actual guardrail here. It looks like there is, but it's a lie. And then you fall into a radioactive volcano. And whether or not that door is open or closed usually depends on what the Etten has done, honestly. But yeah, it's just- it is- it's so sad. Oh. The men are trying to escape the women. That doesn't sound all that inaccurate. Oh, are- will you make up your minds, boys? I should really just like stop and grab some COBs that I would normally have. Like the- oh, she laid her egg. Like, there's an Ocean Bridges one, and um... Oh, the one that makes them lay their eggs. But, let's see what comes out of here. Full grown and also dead? Yeah, this... Oh, that's... That's tragic. Hold on, let me... If I do this, and then that, I'll have the owner's kit on her. So I think being full grown is genetic, since she came out full grown, and yeah, so... Anton, or, or Marta. Actually, I could give her like the only normal name that's going to go to any Norn beyond Gen 1, M Martina, because that would work. And then give her great. Oh, this is sad. Oh. Oh, that's unfortunate. But I guess I can show you like an Easter egg now that we've had a death. Wow, man! Look at the 
colors on the wall. And it opens up a new tab. It says groovy. Wow, man, look at the colors on the wall. Okay. Um. God, what do I say? There. That's sweet. I think that's sweet. Okay. Seen for a moment, loved for a lifetime. And, yep, she's in the graveyard now. Martina the Great. That's just tragic. Oh, now they're kicking in the sad music. I can't handle this. Stupid car is stuck in a ditch. Aww. How do I stop that car? Should we try to breed Martin again, or...? Let's give it one more shot with him and Anna. Unhand me, peasant. That way, we'll know for sure. No, not here. If it's his issue? Because Anna's already had one perfectly healthy child. So we know it's not an issue that we can't breed her in general, but this was Martin's first. So we'll try with him and Anna again. Oh. Bye, Martina. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, I can't work with this sad music playing. I wonder if it's like disrespectful to Martina's memory that I'm reading her parents again before her funeral music has even stopped. That that sounds like it's in kind of poor taste. She's like stuff like that. I'm gonna take a picture real quick. Oh look how pretty. She has the most disgustingly cancerous coloration, but she is pretty. Fingers crossed. Okay, she's not dead. She's a beautiful teal. Okay, so it was just bad luck, I guess. Okay, so Anna and Martin the Great, you are... Marna. It's almost a real name. It's almost Myrna. I believe that's an actual name. Okay, wait, how old are you? Adult. A grown woman. Oh, wow, did you see that? Look, her eyes are so red. Okay, so we've got some really nice blues and greens going on here, and one kind of orange one. What I think we need is to... See if we can get some warmer colors into the population. Now, when I downloaded the Butterfly Norns, it came with some, uh, defaults, so I'm gonna just import random creatures and see if any of them are warm-colored, uh, Butterfly Norns. So let's see what Buffy is. Ah! That's more acid. Um, what about Steel? Oh! Oh my god! Look at that! Purple! Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna rename him. I know it's like a magenta, but the wings are such a nice dark purple. I'm gonna name you... Daniel. Alright, this is the perfect addition to our population. Okay, let's... Do him and Marna, maybe? I think that would make a nice combination, don't you? I say, don't you? Like, you can actually respond to me in real time. If you're sitting there going like, Oh no, that's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And I, I wouldn't even know it. I'd just be like, Don't you think so? Great! Okay, okay, right here, right here. You can get a really good look at Marna's eyes. They are so unbelievably red. That is beautiful. Oh my god, I love it so much. Okay, alright, she's pregnant. Awesome. 
Okay, I've got high hopes about this egg because their colors are so vastly different. Maybe we'll find something in the middle, who knows? Um, You might want to come away from that edge. Martin! Anna! I am one with the waves. Oh, okay. It's cute. He looks just like his father. Okay, so... Marniel? Marniel. Marniel. Alright. Oh. Um. There we go. Okay. Alright. How old is he, though? That's the real question. Adolescence. Okay. That's cool. So, um, Martin was born an adult, and then so was Marna. Oh, I need to give them both the great. So Martin was born an adult, and so was Marna. But Marna, her child, Marniel, was born adolescent. So that's cool. Okay, so Marna the Great and then Marniel means to be great as well. Marniel the Great. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!